Look into my eyes. Focus on the orb. You will subscribe to this channel. You will like this video. You will sit through both ad breaks. Okay, maybe not both, but at least one. What's up guys, welcome back. These things are cool. These are called Mesmoglobes. Sounds like something out of the 20s. Ladies and gentlemen, the incredible Mesmoglobe. We are going to be spinning the Mesmoglobe uh, and you are going to focus on the Mesmoglobe. And they were just sent to me yesterday. They come in a variety of colors, including this gold one. Uh, we have silver, titanium, copper, and like this dark one. They look really, really cool. Uh, what they are is just kinetic toys. Fun little fidget spinny things that you can leave on your desk. And hypnotizing and magical. And it looks like it's melting through the table. And I feel like I'm going to lose my lunch. <laughs> Anyways, that's not why you're here. But if it is, that's weird. Today we're looking at a puzzle. Obviously, it's Wednesday. But the puzzle in question is not like, it's not like any of the other puzzles. You know, I like sequential puzzles. I like metal puzzles. I like complicated level 10 puzzles that I can't solve. This one strikes me a little bit different. It's the simplicity that gets me. This was sent to me by a Swedish fellow. So, no, no, sorry. Finnish. Yes, definitely made in Finland. You have six pieces of wood. Each side, you have a light side and a dark side. The aim here is to make either a light square or a dark square. Sounds so simple. Sounds incredibly simple. Sounds too simple. Sounds like this video is gonna be two minutes long. But guess what? you know it's not. <laughs> I'm actually kind of scared because literally on the packaging when this guy sent me this puzzle, he writes this ominous message. This is evil, smiley face. So I don't know what that means. I mean, I do know what that means. I mean, means that I'm probably gonna swear and hate this puzzle. So without further ado, let's get into it. Ugh. All right, uh, here it is. A little bit of a warning uh, this person sent me. He sent me a bunch of these puzzles. Sorry, the last one that he sent me was this puzzle where the lines had to be symmetrical or whatever, and I didn't really understand it. Someone sent me the solution, and it made no sense to me. <laughs> Even the solution, I didn't understand. Uh, but this one seems simple enough. It says, uh, make a square. Hold on. Where does it say this? It's all written in like Swedish or something. Here, make a dark or light square on the table. That's it. Not gonna forget the timer this time. Timer is on. Make a square. Sounds simple enough. So let's go for the let's go for the dark ones. These are all dark. Yes. So you have two sides. And I guess uh, I guess we're gonna start randomly here to see to see if we can make this. That's too big. I would think something like this, like this, uh, like this. Oh, there we go. And no, and no. <laughs> See, if I were to flip on the light side, that would make a square. I guess that's the image that we have to make, but using all the same colors. So something's up. What if the square isn't a whole square? What if it's like a larger square? What if they're trying to be tricky here? You know what I mean? Still no. All right, let's figure out the pieces we got here. We got this, and we got, so we got three of each. All right, should be, should be simple enough. They're all the same exact size, three of each. That can't be so hard. And this is, uh, what level is this? So this says one, two, three, four, five. And that is the hardest. This is the hardest. Okay, apparently this is the hardest puzzle. Really? Yeah. The double squared. This is the hardest puzzle. Okay. I don't think it's gonna be that hard. Come on. Can't can't possibly be that bad. We're just gonna make random shapes here. Just to, you know, start somewhere random. I think if you if you start somewhere where you think it's gonna be, it's not gonna be there. Ooh. See I like this shape here. I don't know what's happening. It's probably not right. Uh, definitely not. Okay. Start with the corner. Boom. Boom. And again, we're in this position with these two random sides. Hmm. Okay. Start somewhere else. Let's go here. Let's go here. Ooh. 
here. And no, same thing. You sly son of a gun. Looks like a good side. There's nothing that's gonna fit there though. Again with this. That doesn't fit, but this piece could also be put here. Nope, here. And then we're in the same predicament. Oh. Ha. <laughs> I mean, technically, I made a square. Huh? What do you think? Solution? Maybe? Probably not. But we're thinking outside the box. That's what we need to be doing. Whoa, something random just happened. Did we get it? See, that was close. Be here. Oh, again, same. Same, same. Wait. Huh? Something I'm not understanding, right? So we have one, two, three of these, and then we have one, two, three of these. <clears throat> oh, I see. The two same pieces fit together the two same pieces fit together, and these don't. Okay, okay, okay. Well, how else is there? How can we take two of these and make a, you can go here, you can go here, you can go here. why this is so difficult. I hope the answer isn't like something super weird like, oh, stand them up and make a square house or something, because then I'll be upset. By the way, side note, um, if this was a cookie, it would look delicious. I don't know why. I feel like, I feel like that would be a delicious snack. Okay. Just me, just me going nuts a little bit, but I might be hungry. It's definitely going to be something random. It's not going to be what I think it's going to be. Okay, random build time. Let's go. Mix them up. Let me just like try to shove them together. Imagine that worked. <laughs> Imagine I just do this and it's like, oh, hey, you got it. <laughs> uh, that would be it. That would be it. I think. I think, you know, honestly, maybe this is a debate we can have. I think there's merit to randomly trying to solve a puzzle because most puzzles aren't intended for logical thinking. They're intended for outside of the box thinking. And it's really hard to get yourself outside of the box when you're constantly in your own head. So starting at a random position, 
much like magic or cardistry or anything else, helps me get out of the box. And so this might be it. Ooh, what's this shape? What is this shape? Look at what we got here. I don't know, we've made something cool here, boys. It's nothing, really. Okay, maybe this one here. Oh. Oh. Ah! Oh. Oh. Oh, let's go over here. It's never that. I don't like you doing that, it's never that. Let's go back. Let's go back to make a light or, make a dark or light square on the table. That's. <sighs> See, if this were the case, This would be the solution. Right? I don't know what I'm doing. I feel like I feel like I need to really think outside the box here. Wait a second. Now, okay, this might be, this might be the craziest solution if this is the solution. Ready? So obviously not, but we're looking at it in a 2D dimension. Let's make it 3D. Look. There is now a full square between. When I think about yesterday. Look. We'll make a dark square. Watch. <laughs> this is crazy. I really, oh my God. I hope that this is the solution because that would be nuts, dude. Look at this. Look from all angles. Look at this. Wait, let's focus. Boom. So there's a square on the table and it's trapped between. That's the only way. There's no other way physically for this to make a square other than that negative space square that I made. But I don't think that that's a proper solution. This has to be it. Look at that. Oh man, I'm quite proud of myself right now. Can we stand this up? Maybe you can. So here's one layer, right? Here's layer number two. Here's layer number three. All right, so here, all around we have square. It was meant to be stood up. I don't know if you realize right now, my mind is being blown. I'm actually really stoked about this. There you have it. I think this is the solution. I can't, uh, I can't honestly say for sure, but if it isn't, it should be. I can say that for certainty. I don't think, uh, you know, all the possibilities that I put down on the table, none of them seem to actually make a square. It seemed impossible, so my gut instinct told me I had to think outside the box, which I did, and stand it up vertically, make it a 3D puzzle, which which I knew we had to somewhere. I, I knew there was a catch. I knew this couldn't couldn't have been a blip smirm. I knew I couldn't blip. I knew it couldn't have been as easy as I thought. Otherwise, you know, a five-year-old could have guessed this puzzle. So I'm quite proud of my design. I hope it's the intended solution. Actually, I hope it's not the intended solution and the creator's like, yeah, dude, that, that's the new one. That's the new solution 2.0. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe if you're new here. And we'll see you Friday. Can't wait for the office tour. See you then. Peace.